And now, could he have played his last shot? If Sean gets on this ball colour, which he has done. Now, perfect angle he has on the brown off one cushion. Brown ball. Cue ball just before the right centre pocket. Lots of pace to miss the pink into that gap between the pink and the red, just to the right of it. If he goes in there, the full force. Oh, he's just caught the red. Took a bit of pace out of the cue ball. And but for that, well, Five. It might have been a lot nicer. Is he on anything? Is that red below the pink on into the centre pocket? He's having a look at it. Maybe he is, but it's very difficult. Cue ball and red, very close to each other. Ooh, looks good. Has it got the legs? Has it got the legs? Oh, just about. Oh, what a shot. I mean, that was such a difficult shot, Bill. At one stage, I didn't think it was going to drop. Great snooker shot. Great camera shot also. Pockets and it ended up just about toppling in. Eleven. Well, that was a nice little nudge on that red. Look where the cue ball's finished. He could take this red over the right corner pocket. He could play the red over the left corner. But if he puts this red in here, obviously the black will be potable. Even the red immediately left to the black is potable. And plenty of choices here. Was a beautiful shot. Okay, didn't look much, but look at how well he's judged that. Well, cue ball for the pink into the left center. Couldn't have played it any better. He's completely dominated a match that was so important for him in terms of the rankings and indeed to a championship qualification. He's not certain yet, but. If he were to win tonight, maybe we should say when he wins tonight, he will improve 18. in that tour championship qualification list from ninth at present to sixth. Intend for the cue ball to end there, but he's okay. This red is potable into the left corner. He could still stay on the black or he could screw back for the blue. Yeah. Just needs an extended rest and probably the extension at the bottom of the cue. Nine. Now, even someone who's in total control of their game and who's seven. crammed full of confidence can miss a, a shot like this. But if it goes in, could be the beginning of the end. Why did I doubt him, Ken? <laughs> yeah, he's just playing with all 34. the confidence now. He's making a number of tricky shots look comparatively easy and straightforward. Seven. 
for pizza. Yeah, it needs to have a good look at this red just to focus on the angle, the potting angle. We're going up for blue here. Forty-three. And played it nicely. Now this red that's closest to the left corner pocket. If he could get on that. Well, he's playing for the one at the right corner pocket. Doesn't want to go straight. Forty-eight. So what an angle has he got? Yeah, he really need to get on that red that's close to the left corner pocket. Would have been more ideal because that would have. Just released a couple more. He's got a slight angle. 49. No. Excellent shot once again. Fifty seven. Ryan's day car will be starting. 63. No way back from here. 64. Yeah, another possible century. That was 68 points ahead there with 67 remaining. That's why the crowd was acknowledging that. This will stop Ryan Day coming back to the table. That black now. <laughs> Question is, can he go on and make his 71. fourth century of the evening? What a session of snooker tonight from former world champion. And also, Ken, he's got the, the window opportunity to make the highest break of the tournament and put himself in line for £10,000. Yeah, that's at the moment by Joe O'Connor. 3-2, so... 77. Possible 1-3-6 on. Seventy-eight. Just such a wonderful feeling, isn't it, Phil? You know, for a snooker player, just to, you know, everything he's seeing is going 85. right into the middle of the pocket. He's just queuing beautifully, getting through the ball so well. And his positional play is just being exemplary. There's certainly no lapses in concentration tonight, Phil. Oh dear. 92. When you're in that mythical zone, there's no better place to be for a world-class sportsman. And there's no doubt about it. 93. Murphy, very much in the zone. One of his best ever single session performances for me, this. And that's saying something, given the career he's had. Just wait for the pots and wait for the applause. 99. 
He went past 600 centuries last week. Already at 607, but he wants the total clearance here, and he might be denied after that. Rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is majestic. 115. Three balls. The highest break of the tournament. And a possible 10,000 pounds. Still a, long, a lot of snooker to be played. Sublime, Phil. That, ladies and gentlemen, is why they call him the magician. The headline in Wolverhampton this evening, Murphy Magnifico, 6-0. You cannot get better than that. And we'll hear from the maestro 